And these are some pork steaks. Uh, this is the second video of our budget barbecue. This is going to be absolutely fantastic. These are nice and flavorful. Work really good, grilled, smoked, whatever you want. These cost me $5.08 plus Florida State tax, which is 6 or 7%. Um, unfortunately, these are a little bit thin, but we're going to rock them out. We'll see you at the pit. As you can see, we have some pork steaks. These were $5.08 at my local Publix. We're going to go ahead and open the package. Nice and beautifully marbled. A little bit thinner than I would have liked, um, but we'll have to make do. Really not a lot of trim comes off of these. Um, I'm not going to trim these at all. They're already beautifully marbled and trimmed. We are going to, of course, pat them on dry, slap them dry, slap, 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 slap. Give them a flip. Nice little pat. Dry, cut slap. Now, um, we are going to start kind of get these on our presentation side first. So this is, doesn't really matter with these, these are not like ribs. So the first thing we're gonna lay down is some W sauce as a binder. Now you can use anything you have in your pantry, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, a little bit of water. But I am, of course, very lovely of this lovely stuff. It is absolutely fantastic. Sometimes you have to watch because there can be sharp bones in there as well as sharp knives. So today's rub, we're gonna be using JDQ, which is an absolutely fantastic rub. It works really, really well. Um, it's got a sweet profile to it, which is what I want on these. We're just gonna go ahead and have at it. Pretty thin piece of meat, you don't wanna to go too heavy. Look at the color this is already giving these. Wanna make sure you get the edges, pat them in. Flip them on over, repeat the same process. A little bit of that W sauce back on in there. All right, making sure it's not too thick. That's what she said. Back on with our JDQ. Now the sides, I'm not going to terribly worry on this because it is a thin cut of meat. We're going to let these sweat on here for about 20 to 30 minutes. We are out at the Smoking Brothers Premier Plus 36. We're running this at 200 degrees with Manchester barbecue pellets. We're gonna put this on the second shelf because these are thin steaks and we wanna run this kind of low to... to make sure we get enough smoke. As you can see, we've now reached the second step. The bark is now set on here. We're, going to, we're now officially going to start to render some of this fat. Um, this GDQ's sweet rub is looking absolutely fantastic. It's smelling real good too with that lovely Manchester pellets. Rocking and rolling. Up in this bottle, we have about 75% there with apple cider vinegar straight. The rest is W sauce. We gave it a good old shake. 
And there's your mob sauce. Nice and smoky. What a pellet grill. Are you kidding me? Lovely colors from the... And little bits from the W sauce. Right onto it. All right, time to wrap these puppies up. They're looking absolutely fantastic. Looking just sheer amazing. Pull up a couple of bits of butter on there. Got one on the side, one on the top. Looking real good. Grab the other one. Barbecue sauce. I'm gonna give this one last blast of this. I'm gonna go ahead and seal this bad boy up. Back on the top layer. So as you can see in the video, the pork steaks are hitting 203, 205, probing like butter. Now we're going to put some barbecue sauce on them. And then put them just, in, just off to the side in there, let the barbecue sauce set, and they'll be done. So now we're going to go ahead and hit it with the barbecue sauce. And we'll look at another 10 minutes before these are done. Absolutely banging, number one, gorgeous smoke ring. 